So you got Rashina, North Carolina. Um, 36 Leo journalists, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, Boo? All right. So I've got some things written down because I've thought about this. <laughs> um, so overall, I just really want a nice guy, a guy with good character. Because I feel like if someone has good character, they're going to treat you well. Okay. Um, I would like a man that is a great communicator, that knows how to be mature with how he speaks. Um, and he can communicate without yelling and screaming and all the extra stuff. Um, also allows me to speak on how I feel without interruption and makes me feel validated with my feelings. Um, I would like a man that handles my feelings with care as well. I'm fragile with my feelings. <laughs> um, also, I would like a man that is consistent, that, you know, calls me, texts me, um, even if he's busy, I'm still a priority. Um, I also would like somebody that I can feel at home with, that I just feel safe with. I can completely be myself. I don't have to walk around on eggshells. I can just be free to be me. Um, I do want someone that is very secure within himself. I want a man that is a protector, not possessive. Um, I'd also like a generous man. Um, he doesn't have to be wealthy, but you know, he shares with me what he has and he's a provider. Um, I would like a man that does trust me and doesn't keep like a lot of secrets. He's pretty much an open book and shares with me everything. Um, I would like a romantic guy. <laughs> um, basically, you know, somebody that'll just send me flowers just because just send me a text message, you know, tell me he's thinking about me. Just something, you know, random. Um, I would like an intellectual guy because I love smart guys. I love a guy that I can have a smart conversation with. Um, since I don't have kids, I really prefer a man with no kids. Um, a man that does not do drugs at all. No kind of drugs. Um, great hygiene is very important because I'm going to notice how you smell before I notice the Gucci belt or the nice outfit. Um, a great sense of humor because I really do like to laugh. Adventurous. Um, I'd also like a man that doesn't mind that I don't cook because that's really not my thing. So I've come to accept it. <laughs> Um, and I'm trying to, I'm dating for marriage. So I would like to meet a man that wants to date with a purpose and doesn't want to date just to shack up, but wants to actually get married. Um, and that's about it. I got a couple of questions. Okay. Do you, do you, so you, you're dating for marriage. You want to be a wife. Yes. Do you want children one day? Um, if I marry the right guy and he wants kids, um, I will consider it, but I don't have to have children. That's not something that I've really, that I really don't want. I mean, okay. I will, but I, it's not really something I have to have to do. Okay. So, okay. So who, who do you expect to cook for your husband since you don't want to cook? It would be nice if he would cook. <laughs> I mean, oh, if, you want him to be the cook? Yes. That you would also be nice. want him to be the provider too? Yes, that would be nice. So provide and cook for you. Well, my thing is, if he wanted me to learn how to cook, I wouldn't mind, honestly. All right, Rashina, you shut your line ninja lips up at this point. This woman, she want a six-figure man that comes home and cook. We ain't never heard this. Ooh, shout out to Babyface Edmonds. What'd he say? He said, I run your bath water. I cook your food just as soon as I get home from work. Oh, shout out to all the simping, baby making music. I'm a fan. I get it. <laughs> but no, you tripping. She said this is to wear her chest out unapologetically. She said, I'm looking for marriage. I'm looking for a man that's on his purpose, looking for a wife. How the freak ever? I have come to terms, Kendra, that I do not cook. She said, that's, you want to know how that she sound like a dude? Because she sound like me. That's something I say. I can't cook. I can build. I can fix. I've come to terms that I can't cook. I And that's okay. You a woman. What happened to all of the grandmas to teach these vital lessons? What is the quickest way to a man's heart? Say it with me now through his stomach. What you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. Kendra says uh, you want this dude to provide and cook. She said, "Oh yes, that would be nice. Please and thank you." <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, everybody wanted a genie. I don't need a cookbook. <laughs> well, what if you want to do... Okay, let's talk about this. And I can talk about this from my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I was a woman who also did not cook until I got into this current and my current relationship. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I took it upon myself, because I wanted to give something back because my guy is so great, right? And, he's, and he doesn't want me to pay for nothing. So it's like... All I can show is my gratitude and things that he likes, which is a home cooked meal. But right. outside of that, if I ain't cooking for him, who else? He going to get a home cooked meal? Do I want somebody else to cook for him? Hmm. Well, there we go, man. Thank, uh, thank, thank you, Kendra. Kendra was cooking because Lord knows this woman ain't. Kendra said she gave her some context. She said, "Look, she said I got me a man here, Rash Rashina." And, you know, I come to realize that the, my, this ninja wants something. And he is valuable enough. Message, he is he is such a catch that if I don't cook for him, I know he going to get him a home-cooked meal from somebody. Message. So I better be filling that spot. That's called applying pressure. Break out y'all little Kindle fires and take notes. <laughs> And also, uh, in the cash app here. I see my guy, Don. Don Jeter, the big joker. He came through with a 20 as well. He says, dunk for the newcomer. Get her off the screen. Okay. Can you see, can you see me? Uh, okay. Okay. That's auntie. And she younger than us. She younger than us, Mr. Walker. Holy hell. I'm getting scared. The older I get, man, I'll be like, how the hell y'all younger than me? See, come on. This. Yeah. Yeah, like, come on, man. It's a blessing. Thank God we don't look like what we've been through because all your life I could see it's been a fight and a struggle. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. That sounds like Umar. Yeah, y'all wonder why men are dating younger and younger these days because y'all women are aging faster and faster. So don't no man want no 30-year-old woman that look 45 or or a 25-year-old yeah. woman that look 35. There you go. She 36. Y'all need to understand. <laughs> women, seriously, and this is a grim reality, and this is true, Gavin Wright. These are our peers. 36, they completely blowed out. They These sisters be having ankle braces. They got... They got those copper bands everywhere to try to function through the day. They popping perks for the pain. And, and guys, our age, especially a lot of my counterparts I went to school with, they out here, they still could dunk, sprint, run full speed, climb fences. And y'all sisters, y'all, we see y'all on YouTube and Instagram, the bloopers, y'all falling up y'all porch steps and stuff. Y'all, y'all lacking mobility. Y'all ain't that old. Gotta do better, man. Come on. He says, a journalist that don't cook and clean, she might as well say she's a servant. She's she lazy as servant. Or she wants that's... to serve it. Yeah, she la pure laziness. That, that, that's something I wanted to hit on. I'm glad you reminded me. Pure lazy. A woman that don't cook. Imagine a man saying, I don't protect. Or I don't, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, a, it's a noise downstairs. You go check it out, Bonquisha. There you go. There you go. Yeah, let's. Yeah, there you go. It's got to make sense, you know. I only got the cojones to say I won't cook because I know I got enough to compensate for. I ain't cooking. I do everything else but that. Bonquish, but like Gavin said, what if I say I don't protect? <laughs> I don't. I ain't. I ain't taking the garbage out. I ain't. I'm not brushing off the snow off the car in the winter time. No, I won't. I don't do them things. <laughs> Lady, these women are so lazy heading into 2024. And you wonder why men, the men just bowing out, y'all blowed out, y'all lazy on so many fronts, right? From visually, y'all don't cook, y'all don't clean, everything lazy. Do better. Shout out to Theo Coop. We got Tony come through, 36, no kids, that cat straight trash, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Call her cat trash, she gonna say respectfully. Stop <laughs> That sounds like some diamond would say. Yes, like, it is. Exactly. Respectfully out there. After you done to cut her through her bone marrow. Respectfully. Man. Hey, she, she deserves it, though. Like, she, oh, my God. Get in the gym. Push away from the table.
uh, understand what men want. Understand what they want. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to man. Well, it's all right. Y'all gonna figure it out. Y'all gonna learn the easy way, the hard way. Y'all hard headed, so the hard way it is. And shout out to the CEO. He come through with the five dollars. He says a man needs to pay all the bills and cook all the meals. Is this camera on me? <laughs> uh, I like that. Cook all the meals, pay all the bills. Golly. I didn't is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your <laughs> common sense. To the sub. To the sub. To the sub. Yes. Post haste. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. So here we go. We off that sister. We on to the feature. Remember, I told y'all that these two sisters sort of fall together, if you will. A few moments later. What's the name? Danny. Danny, where are you calling us from, honey? Columbus, Ohio. Danny. By way of How old are you? 53. 53. What you do for a living? Um, I work at a Amazon warehouse. Amazon warehouse. Pandemic. I'm a teacher pre-pandemic. Okay, but now you work at Amazon Warehouse. Yep. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Cancer. So Danny, Columbus, Ohio, 53, Cancer, Amazon Warehouse. Do you have any kids? <laughs> I have six children. How old are your six kids? 33, 32-year-old twins, uh, 29, 25, and 12. All by the same man? Oh, excuse me, all by the same man? All by the same man. Um, the 12 year old is not my biological daughter, but I have custody of her since two months. But okay. all five by the same man. He's deceased. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Were no you guys problem. married? No. No. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that he passed away. Were you together before he passed away? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we got Danny Columbus, Ohio, 53, cancer, mom to six. Um, unfortunately. The dad passed away and she works at Amazon Warehouse. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, one that can cook, and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, every man that I've been with have has cooked, has been a chef, has been to culinary school. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. Now I, I have cooked because I've had to, single mom, but um, if I don't have to cook, I'm not gonna cook. Period. That's Was it for every man providing hundred percent too? Oh yeah, I believe it. Well, I don't. I didn't date when my kids were coming up. This is, you know, just recently after my kids were grown. But yeah. So he was. So you're saying every, every, man, every I, I should say this. Every man that's been in my life, that's been in my life, uncles, uh, my uncle. I'm I've never seen. My, I'm, I'm talking about men that you dated. So I want to be clear with the men that I've dated. Yes, my so, kid's dad was a was a chef. He cooked. Every meal and someone that I've dated probably about two years ago, I've never, I've never cooked for him. Let me just, never. okay, let, let me just, okay, let me just ask you a couple questions. So your kid's dad, was his profession a chef? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now that might be a little different because he's actually, that's his job, right? The so, best chefs are men. Where do you think know, that they, what, what I, stop, stop, stop. Kendra, quit trying to bail her out. These sisters is lazy as hell. I'm sick of it. Listen to this. These women are planting a flag. They said, I ain't even cooking. If a woman ain't cooking, she damn sure ain't cleaning. She ain't doing nothing. I don't need a cookbook. I don't need a cookbook. Every man that I've ever known, the, every man from my pa to my uncle to my cousin and them, they all done cook for me. I don't cook. I'll cook if I got to, but I really don't cook. Man. Again, you sound like a handsome boy. <laughs> and here's the deal, chat. I'm going to let this keep cooking. Honey, 
I don't want to argue with you. This is not about an argument. Oh, I'm not going to argue. I'm not arguing. I'm just or making a point. You keep over talking me, so we both keep like at the same mm. time. So I'm trying to ask a question. Mm. So uh -huh. let's just slow mm. it down a little bit. Now, what I'm saying is, when you marry a chef, if a woman was a chef, that's probably what they do naturally. Now, my next question is, outside of that man, you said the other guy cooked. Did he pay all your bills too? We lived in two different households. No, he didn't pay all my bills. Okay, so the point I was making is, a lot of women come on my show and they're saying they, they don't want to cook and they also want a man to pay all the bills. So I have met a lot of men who feel as though if I'm paying all the bills, the least you can do is cook. You you feel as though that is not something that a man should ask for? Um, I understand paying all the bills, but if you have a job, like I work 10 hour days. So I work 10 hour days. I'm if I'm sure he he would have a job. Um, no, if he's the better cook, if, if why would I want why would you want to eat my food? I, my food is not great. I only cook out of need. I don't cook because I'm the greatest cook. If you're the better cook, I think you should cook. Fair enough. OK, so you want a man that won't require you to cook? No, he won't require me to cook. And if okay, he does well, require me to cook, he's not the man for me. Fair enough. What else do you desire? Um, someone who is um, self-aware, someone who likes to travel, someone who is respectful, um, no addicts, no um, adulterers. Don't call me if you're separated. Don't have time for that. Um, no abusers. Okay. Just curious. You said that your children's dad that passed away, you guys did not get married. No. Uh, so we, I was never, never right. married. So you guys had five kids together. Why did you not get married? Um, I, I was, we were engaged at one point. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, his, his death was sudden. It wasn't, it, he was young, 37, I want to say. Okay. So, you know, it just Did never happened before he passed away. It just never happened before he passed away. She gonna say we was talking. We was engaged a couple times, or before. She said we was engaged before. Do y'all like be engaged and then take it back? Like, don't, and, and Bonquisha should put that ring on. Be like, no take back, Snug Nug, and Nug Nug come in with this take back. Give my ring back, Bonquisha. And like, how did that work? Do they just be in and out of that engagement? <laughs> I love the way they be tiptoeing around these answers. Couldn't you say you got five kids by this guy? Why did it took many moons to make five kids? All right, we well, understand how the birth birthing cycle of humans work. So it took many moons. Why didn't y'all find it necessary to get married in that time? Her goofy answer was he was young. He passed away all of a sudden. He was 36. I'm very proud to say I'm 37, been married for 12 years <laughs> and got, they ain't got five kids. It didn't take me, it didn't take me one kid to realize, <laughs> come on, man, Bonquisha, just to answer, just answer the question and say, cause I ain't no wife. I'm not a wife. Look at my scowl, Kendra. I was convenient for that man for whatever reason. And he stuck around and he, well, he passed away at 36. Man, listen here. I hear what y'all say in the chat. I shan't not repeat it. But yeah. Yeah. This I'm gonna leave it at this. This is the type of woman she looked like if she smiled, look like it hurt. You see what I'm saying? I I want to see her smile throughout this interview. I guarantee it look like her face gonna crack. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna let her cook. We're gonna have back to back women. They are their decree is they will not turn that damn flame on the stove they don't even know how to work the knobs they you know what i mean they like how you turn this thing on you hear me see so. and again now let me be clear i aspire i'm gonna learn to cook i'm learning to cook damn good i am because i i love i like it. i think it's a cool thing but these well like i said these is women these are our women they like i i i decree i shan't not <laughs> i shan't not get a cookbook here we go. We're going to get to the super chat shortly. Here we go. Okay. Did you guys live together too? 
We didn't live together. No. You didn't live together. So y'all had separate not. households. Yes. Yes. Did not live together. Yes. So you said he was the cook. I thought this was like a household relationship. So you had your own house. Did all the kids live with you or were they split? They they lived with me. He was over every day after work. He brought us food. He came up, he either brought us food that he cooked or he came and cooked for us okay. every day. Just curious, have you ever lived with a man? Never. Never. Okay. Never. Never. You're proud of that? Huh? Is that something no, you're I'm saying? saying I never, I never have. I'm just answering your question. I've never. Oh. Is that the desire now, or do you still want to live in two different households? Um, no, I mean, if I get married, no, I want one household. One household. Okay. 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 What are your, do we do your deal breakers? Um, I didn't give you my deal breakers, but, um, no, no abusers, no addicts, um, no separated men. Um, you have to like children. Sorry. <clears throat> um, have to know how to cook. <laughs> um, it's about it. No, I mean, of course, no lying, no cheating, all that. Stuff. I'm not trying to bark or well, stay on this lawn, but I, I do. I kind of, I guess, my mind is trying to understand. So, with your children's dad, were you guys? I know you guys had kids together, but were y'all in a relationship? Yes, ma'am. Why did y'all not live together then? Um, I because I I came down here first. Um, I said I came down here first. I'm from. We're both from Cleveland, but um. I don't know. It's just it. We never merged households. We weren't married, so I mean, I, had we been married, we would have been in one household. We right, weren't married. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to figure out because you came on and said you've never cooked for a man. He's always cooked. So I no, I thought, said I never cooked. Well, uh, you're right. That's right. That would be correct. Yeah. Right. So I thought when you were making that statement, this was a man, and then and I assume so this is my fault from assuming because you have five kids together, y'all live together. And he was the sole cook. But now as I'm getting more deep dive, you guys never even lived in the same household together. And he came over here and cooked every day. Provided so he came and cooked every day. So why have two separate households with more bills if he's going to come over your house every day? Because he had five children over here. That's a lot of children. Right. But what I'm saying is if you're telling me he came over your house every single day, why have a separate home? That's just the way, that's just the way we did it. We, and that's it. I see y'all. She done. I just just trying to get this context. I just wanted to hear a little more, but that's it, man. But eat, but eat, but eat. That's all, folks. I'm sick of her, man. Goodness gracious. Kendra stopped her. Kendra broke out her journalism badge, Mr. Walker. Kendra said, hmm, if y'all was, if he was over here every day cooking, if, if this and that, if that was this, why ain't y'all together? She said, hmm, hmm. She keep thinking about every damn thing. She said, well, we wasn't married, and, um, I moved down here first. Um, you know, we, we moved to Cleveland and um, well, you know, we weren't married and we just never merged households. What? This is sick work. This woman has never. Well, what, what, what's the chances to make all his kids, Mr. Walker? Oh, uh, stop playing with it. Asterisk. Yeah. Ask, stop playing. I tell you what. See what I'm saying? You want to play these sick games? I hope ain't nobody else. Y'all see what she giving? I'm, you know what? The fact that she can't pre acting like this, I'm, I'm getting it to her. She can't. She giving gargoyle. She very much giving gargoyle. I will hope that that's the only brother that was brave enough to go ahead and sink his weenie in this. So, but nevertheless, asterisk. But this woman has never cohabitated with a man, but somehow gave this this one guy five babies and they never lived in the same house because they weren't married and they never decided to merge households that is the most wicked wicked sick who do i've done heard and again the only time this woman cracked a smile is when she said the guy has to know how to cook then she laughed and it looked like it hurt so i was correct <laughs> so there we go man I see y'all in the chat. Say y'all want to hear more. Shout out to Rashida and Don. They done uh, merged forces and got her up off the screen, unfortunately. Yeah. Let somebody rewind and keep her here. Um, 
like I said, she started off by saying she don't cook. We had the last two women saying straight up. They are telling y'all men in the beginning. These women are telling y'all before y'all get any, before y'all GTD anything. She ain't cooking. What's the chances this man going to take you serious? I mean, so I don't cook. He just going to glaze your buns and leave. Tell you what, man. I y'all play. I don't cook. Like I, y'all really don't understand that you you simply putting fuel into your working man. He's out here working. You put fuel into him so he can keep working. You come back with the gold. You give him more fuel so he can go back and work. He comes back. You give him more. Y'all gotta get. Come on. Y'all always talking about teamwork, man. Teamwork make the dream work. What kind of team this sister talking about? You can't come live with her. Do you really want some of that? Do you really want some of that physical intimacy? Do you really? Huh? Can't live with her. She ain't going to make you no food, but you're going to come take care of these grown kids. That's what you is going to do. The inmates are loose in the asylum, Batman. Yes, they are. We've been saying that. Yeah, the inmates. They got the meds, and they out here running the asylum. It's unfortunate. Appreciate your project, Leroy. Come through like you do with the $5 super chat. It says, five kids was engaged, and God called him home from Mary and Bonquisha. She wasted her time living in two separate houses. This dude died at 30. He passed away at 36. Oh, my bad. I didn't. Leon. <laughs> Leon <laughs> King. Hold on. <laughs> Leon, shout out to Leon. Leon, every time we want to get rid of you, you come back with fire, Leon. Leon says she don't cook or get her damn face dirty. If y'all wasn't here early in the show, y'all don't know nothing about getting your face dirty. Fellas, fellas, make sure you're telling your ladies, get your damn face dirty. What plan? Yeah, yeah she, yeah, do, you really, <laughs> do you really want her to get her face dirty? Yeah, come on, Leon. Leon, do hell. <laughs> <laughs> He 50 and won't cook. Six kids looking for marriage. It's just strike one through seven. Just, just, and, and, just keep talking. It's like, no, wrong answer. Are y'all saying Kendra can't? Let me see if I can catch it. We can do that. Let's see if what I y'all can catch see? it. What, what, do y'all, what do y'all really want to see? You know what? Fair. She 50. What y'all think? Y'all, y'all trying to see if 50 year old grandma got cheeks? That's what y'all want to see. She ain't going to show y'all nothing. She got on black garb. She's shapeless. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Christmas tree. Okay. I see you, boo. Thank you. Right. Did she put her hands in her pockets? <laughs> okay. I see you. Yes, this is a handsome boy. <laughs> oh, Tell you boy. what. If if that is if that Christmas tree got blue lights, it, it may be just me, it's just my opinion, but blue lights on a Christmas tree is straight depression to me. Yeah. <laughs> them, blue, them blue lights. I'm saying, do y'all not see how dark and, and, and dusty it seems in that apartment? Oh, I'm getting apartment. Oh, is them still is that still door? Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> Well, she oh. work at Amazon. She do work at Amazon. So, okay. I mean, shout out to everybody at Amazon, but she got five kids. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. that, I mean, that is what it is. Mm-hmm. She says she's a teacher pre Cooties 19 and post Cooties 19. Now she works for Bezos. How? Need to pay- <laughs> How the hell that- you see what I'm saying? Hell, man. Because you, you don't cook. Like, I would imagine you lazy. Do y'all want this woman as y'all teacher? My goodness. Hex, no. She's so mean and she hungry. Yeah, ain't nothing more mean than a hungry woman. Y'all get hangry. And she don't cook. So she at school, hungry, lonely. My Lord. So here we go. Over the hills and through the woods, folks. Let's make sure. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Proper send off. Over 50 years old up here talking about you don't need a cook book. Y'all, 
Do we need to keep saying this? All the married women in the chat, can y'all please let these sisters know the power of a home cooked meal, especially something from scratch? I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, you come home from a hard day's work, and what my man Farrakhan say, you walk in and you smell fresh butter baked biscuits. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you may <laughs> ain't nothing better. <laughs> so I'm just, uh, figure it out. Cold winter's night. Yo, man, come home, present him with some, what he like, chili, cornbread, you know, summer days, present him with, you know, some lighter foods, fish, things like that. Y'all better figure it out. Make, men are logical. So this dude, yo, man out there conquering the dragon, and boom, Quisha trying to throw that tainted cat at him. He like, why would I even deal with you when I know I'm going home to my wife, my lady, my girlfriend, whatever y'all got. And she, 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 she making the meals from scratch. Uh, it, it's too delicious. And, and she looking the way I like. I'm logical, you see. I shan't not get out of my way, Bone Quisha. But this sister here, 50 years old and don't need a cookbook. <laughs> Her man belong to Bone Quisha. <laughs> and shout out to my guy Trey. Shout out to Trey Ferg. How you feeling tonight, brother? Happy holidays. He is in the chat. He says, any woman, what he say, over the age of 45. Should be cooking uh. everything from scratch. Hey, Trey, from, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. From Scriznatch. From scratch. Come with, they scared. Yeah. Up here, he heating up. Hey, don't come for you. Did your mama cook from scratch? Your mama fed y'all noodles. Yo, mama, this. Listen here. Yeah. You wanna and if you wanna end up like her? <laughs> my guess. This is that part. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so that's what you say, man. When they hit you with the mama, yo mama, mm -hmm. when they try to use that shame, mm -hmm. reverse the shame. Because they the problem is they think, you know, it is what it is. All of our moms ain't happily married to our fathers. It is what it is. So, <laughs> but at the same time, you got to be a man and have these conversations with your mom and she need to know where you stand. So when these women say, well, yo mama, then you say, well, you want to end up like her? Stand on it because they ain't expecting that. They thinking that's the Trump card because your mama, mm -hmm. you're going to back down at that point. Double down. Go. Double what down. What is it that us us brothers, we're afraid to respectfully address all of these elephants in the rooms and all of these meaty skeletons in these closets? Yeah, like Gavin said, yeah, tell me. Yeah. No, she didn't. And she was wrong. You want to end up just like her? A lonely and a desperate? <laughs> That part. So it is what it is. We call it down the middle. It just is what it is. Cautionary tales. We're trying to save a younger generation. We just said this so many times. We ain't trying to save on Quisha that already done screwed up her life. It's over. We're trying there to save you your damn kids, hopefully. There you go. Cautionary tales. Put that on in your Kindle fires. We all, all of us, there is not one human on the face of this earth, especially our generation, that can look at our kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews and give them cautionary tales for our, from our very own lives. That is the movement we on. Whereas we know our elders, parents, grandparents, they ain't they really ain't on that time. Not the ones coming from where we from. They ain't talking talk about their cautionary tales. They they perfect. They do no wrong. And and hence. The culture now, unaccounted for, no accountability. I'm trying to change it, baby. Break the chains. The net net of it, most of these women are fully aware that most men are up under Order 66, the gynocracy. They know they trump cards. They could just say, your mama, your grandmama, yada, yada, and y'all going to back down because y'all going to say, man. But no, call a spade a spade. Even if the shoe fits your damn mama, it fit her. It is what it is man huh there you go there you go yeah and i love bringing up the example of kurt franklin interacting with his aunt this man is a multi-millionaire and most likely pays for all of his relatives existence and and under order 66 and the toxic ass gynocracy his aunt looked at this grown established man and was like you better address me as your superior no, not so. And it's insane. Order 66 is sick work. 
It don't matter as a as a man under order 66, it don't matter how resourceful you are, how protective, none of that. You're gonna fall up under the gynocracy. Yeah, that's one of the first steps out there, man. One of the first steps to true liberation and to truly spread your wings as a man is you got to get from up under order 66, whether it's your mama, your grandma, your aunt, your, your sisters, your cousins, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever got you up under the order. Let them mm -hmm. know you giving the orders. You ain't up under no order of no woman. It just, it, you just ain't. There you go. And cha. There you go. You know, I was going to say, but first, you got to make yourselves resourceful. Nah, and nah, I ain't going to say that. Just period. Get from up under there. But yeah, make yourselves resourceful. That that helps big time. Because yeah, if you ain't, now they got knocks. They coming with razor blades and lemon juice. You better have your good job. Better be getting yourself right. Uh, and, you and that's part of it, though, Mr. Walker, because the most people that's up under it still rely on them. They need them for food shelter water so a, a man that's removing himself he is resourceful because he's showing that he don't need them no more there you go i can't go tell you know my mom or my grandmama of the hurt and trauma she caused because i need somebody to babysit when i go to the club or go to cancun i need somebody to do this i need to borrow somebody's car you see there you go correct can't get can't you can't get you know, your hand out the lion's mouth yet. So you got to sit there and keep petting it, being under the guy knocker. See, we keep giving y'all these analogies to so try to paint pictures for y'all. Men, make yourselves resourceful. Get from up under Order 66 and have a shot at a chance of fulfillment. Otherwise, y'all going to be done -zo. That's it. Have a chance for a woman to submit to you and all these wonderful things because that's part of it. You can't want your woman to submit to you if she's if if she don't see anybody else submit to you, if she don't see your mama submit to you, if she don't see your sister submit to you, if everybody else, if you walk around taking orders from everybody, why would your woman submit to you when you when she see you submit to all these other women? That's wild. That that's a real thing. Had this big old strong man get his lady, you know, she only know him as the man, and then she go meet his mom and aunties and she watched them pet this big man on his head and and make him fall in line y'all y'all know that's evil right so take notes we drop gems per usual for free we ain't gonna keep doing it for free but right now we we giving out we want this for the betterment so we're doing this for y'all but one of these days it ain't gonna be so free all this game there you go. In the words of my father-in-law, at no cost, ain't nothing free ninjas at no cost. There you go. There you go. No cost. <laughs> no cost to y'all. Yeah. Right. 